My first guest tonight has appeared in numerous films, including Being John Malkovich, High Fidelity, and Gross Point Blank. Well, beginning today, you can see him in Identity. We are thrilled to have him back on the show. Please welcome John Cusack. What's that? That was a good theme song. Oh, yeah. Yeah, that's your new theme song from now that's on. awesome. Action adventure theme. Very cool. Now, you seem upbeat, but I understand you've been a little depressed lately because you are a huge hockey fan. Yes. Detroit Red Wings. That's your team. That's my team. And they get beaten by the Mighty Ducks. Yes. <laughs> <laughs> Sorry to laugh in your face, but that's to lose to the Mighty Ducks. They won the cup last year, though. Yeah, yeah, doesn't matter. And they're going to win next year. <laughs> I know. Doesn't matter if they cured cancer last year, they lost to the Mighty Ducks. That's yeah. tough. It's hard to lose to a team uh, named after a teen movie. Yeah, exactly. That's, that, yeah. that's rough. We but... lost to the St. Elmo's Fire. Uh, <laughs> that's true. <laughs> we were beaten badly. Now, I understand that you were last year. When they won, and you're a big fan of the D Detroit Red Wings, and you support them, you actually got to hang out with the Stanley Cup a bit. Is that right? Yeah, well, a, a good friend of mine um, used to play in the Blackhawks, Chris Chelios. Mm -hmm. He's a two-time Olympian and a great hockey player. And uh, I sort of switched allegiances when he went to the Red Wings. And they're a great team. You <laughs> right. know, I went with my guy. I'm mean, Usually I'm a Chicago guy, but right. when they traded Chris, I had to go to Detroit. So you went with him, and so and they he, win. They and won the cup, and then each guy who wins the cup, each member of the team gets to take it for two days. It's the greatest ritual in all sports, in my opinion. Right. Because they actually get to take the same trophy that's been there since, you know, I don't know, it's like 1812 the, or something. Exactly. It's the same yeah. Stanley Cup. Right. And the, each guy gets it for two days. So uh, me and my idiot friends got to hang out with Stanley Cup and Chris Chelios for it's two so, days this summer. But, you know, some people, because we've, we've had different hockey players on different times. We talk to them, and they'll say things like, yeah, I uh, put it on the back of my boat, and we hauled it and made it water ski. I mean, they do crazy things yeah, with it. Yeah, yeah. You know, what, what, I mean, were you guys doing anything insane with it? Well, Chris, we took it out to a lot of bars and drank out of it. Dr uh, you drank out of it? Yeah, yeah. Because you realize that some people are doing disgusting things with the cup in previous years. Yeah, I know. And then, you know, some people put their babies in the cup. I mean, it's, it's, it runs the whole gamut. You want to check strange. to make sure there's not a baby in the cup before yeah. you... <laughs> Let's fill it with gin. Oh, yeah, wait, hold true. it. Wee, wee. <laughs> Let's get it out of there. Yeah, but it was fun. And was so, fun. You, and is there security for the Stanley Cup? There is actually there are these two guys who are like the um, um, Stanley Cup uh, Trophy uh, Secret Service guys, and they have the walkie-talkies, and they just sort of shadow the cup, and the cup's going over to Conan, the cup's going over here, <laughs> and they're with it the whole time. That's so weird. It's kind of demeaning to have to be the Secret Service guy. You probably dreamed all your life of guarding the president, and you're in charge of an inanimate object, you know? <laughs> I don't know, man. You say that up in Canada, you get your ass kicked. Oh. I'll take those Canadians on any day. <laughs> those flapjack-eating, mountie-riding. We've got a lot of Canadian fans. I love you. <laughs> yeah, they take their hockey pretty seriously. They do, and I, uh, I love them for it. Uh, I heard something. I don't know if it's true. I just want to make nice with everyone all the time. I'm a coward. Well, why do we hate Canadians? We don't hate Canadians. They're oh, wonderful hate, people. Who do we hate as a nation? As a nation, Spain really has it coming. I all think. right. <laughs> I mean, come on. What they did in the 1400s. Now, <laughs> I'm still upset about People are, like, looking stuff up. What did they do? They messed oh. with my brother's car in the 1400s. <laughs> Let's talk about... You, I heard that you are into this sport and it, that I've heard about, and it's, uh, it's pretty challenging. When you hear about different sports, this one always sounds the most challenging. Helicopter snowboarding. This is something yeah, you do. Yeah, I do it. I do it every once in a while. I go up to Canada, the good people of Canada. That's probably... The good people. God bless those people, by the way. The Great White North. And, but Spain, uh, don't get me started. No, um, no, 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 no. Uh, and they, they kind of take you up in a helicopter and they drop you off on top of a glacier and you just sort of... Okay, let's back this up. How high up top of the glacier are you like 12... Feet? Do they land it or do well, they it's, make it's, you it's jump the, out? It's at the, the very top. Right. Yeah, and then they sort of land the helicopter and you jump out. And then the helicopter goes down there and then you sort of snowboard down to the helicopter. And is it dangerous? Well, you have to wear an avalanche beeper, so it's, I guess, I mean, I guess in case you get buried up in the snow. They, they have a little beeper that you... So wear. they know where your body is. Correct. <laughs> yeah. So I guess that would, that would actually... <laughs> what good is that going to do? Because you can't last that long under there. Well, they It's just so they can be like, we'll get them tomorrow. Deep, deep. Yeah, when you thaw out, I guess. But there's, um, uh, you know, it's, it's, it's dangerous, I guess. I guess that would be dangerous. So do you ever worry about that? Do you... 
No, because it's more dangerous on a resort if you run into people or poles or trees. No, 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 no. What you're doing is much more dangerous. <laughs> when I go on the rope tow and then uh, snow plow down and, no, then have, and then have cocoa for four hours, that's... But I saw you, you did a little thing where you, uh, I, I saw this thing where you were snowboarding. You know what? I am a pretty amazing snowboarder. That looked pretty Actually, good. I am pretty good and we have, I think we have, do we have this footage? Let's just show, because I think I'm maybe the best uh, celebrity snowboarder ever. Let's take a look at this footage. What do you think of my form? Do you? I would give you a um, four to five out of ten. Four to five out of ten. Yes. Very good. I can. I a think gracious four to five. There's, there's room for improvement yes, there. Sir. Now another. Um, you'd have to say yes sir so quickly on that. You could have said maybe. Uh, I hear that you're into kickboxing. Seriously into kickboxing. A little. I like to do that a little bit. Yeah. Just a little bit. Yeah, not all the time. I mean, I don't, I don't want to do it professionally or anything. <laughs> no, I think what you're doing is probably yeah, I a, better. I got a better day job. Yeah. I, no more movie star. Kickboxing. No, no, no. no, no. How does kickboxing uh, work? Is, your, is well, there you more punching? you kick and then you box, and you sort of do the kick and the box. Right. Is there any way to kick and, and hit at the same time, so that you're kicking and punching at the same time, so that both legs come up and both arms go out? Yeah, I think I think you'd need uh, one of those uh, suspension wires. Like yeah, yeah. Matrix or That's something. how I would do it. Yeah. But I guess there are guys who can do that. But I just sort of do it to stay in shape. Who do you Who are you doing this with? Well, this guy named Benny Urquidez, Benny the Jet. Uh -huh. He was in a movie I did called Gross Point Blank. Oh yeah, yeah. Yeah. He and was, he's amazing. Yeah, he's really good. So I just sort of train with him and pretend like I know what I'm doing for fun. Right, right. I think it'd just be really cool. Do you, and could, is that something that you could, if someone was giving you a hard time in a bar, could you unload? Would you just unload the hitting, or would you also unload the kicking? I would just, I would just unload a devastating arsenal of punches. <laughs> I don't know what Very I'm nice. doing. Yeah. <laughs> no, I probably wouldn't. No, nope, you said it against any person from Spain who challenged. I don't no, know why. I, I, just know, I, do, I don't want to fight anybody. Right. See, I do, but I Ooh. have no skills. Really? Just, I want to just fight. I'm a. I'm You're a, angry. I'm an angry man, but trapped in the body of a little girl, and uh, there's nothing I can do. Well, if I, when a fight breaks out, I just go like that, you know. Mm -hmm. You just seem stupid. You're like, yeah, oh, well, I'm sorry. About that. You're, I know that's nice. You're very nice. You're very like, I'm just sorry, Conan. I can't help you. Well, I like your show. You oh, know? thank you, thank you. I'll try and take care of myself. Now, identity. Let's talk about identity. Right. This is a scary movie. This is your first horror film. Yeah, I don't know if it's a horror. It's not really. I don't want to characterize yeah, yeah. it just as horror. It's but. kind of a psychological thriller. I guess it's a bit of a horror film, but... There's some really scary stuff in this movie. I don't want to give anything away because there's a whole idea behind this movie that's very cool, but I, I'm just curious if, like, th this is probably the first movie you've done where there's this intensity, I think, of, like, fear, probably. Yeah, yeah. It's, uh, it's um, I guess, in the tradition of... Uh, Agatha Christie or one of those old Hitchcock movies where right. a lot of folks uh, get stranded together and, and then bad things start to happen. Sometimes bad. like talk shows. <laughs> <laughs> I have a special beeper that goes off in case we ever have a bad talk show. Do you? Yeah. yeah, and then they can dig me out the next day. Um, yeah. And it, these guys get stranded together and then all these bad things start happening and you think you know who people are but you don't. And it's actually, the script is really clever, really smart. So I figured if the writer, I couldn't see all, any of the twists or turns coming, so I figured if the writer was that much smarter than me, I better show up. Right, you got to do this film. We have a clip here from the movie. Anything we need to know about this to understand um, what's going on? It's suspenseful and scary, and we're probably, I don't know which clip we're in, but it's, we're probably in the rain yeah. in a motel. Yeah, every movie you do, you're in the rain. I know, talked I got about this script before. again. I knew you were going to tell me that. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Well, let's take a look at this, uh, this clip from Identity. Wake up. What? Cell phone. What? Do you have a cell phone? Who wants to know? Look, there's been an accident. War. Second of all, we don't see an accident. Listen anywhere, to me, so dude. I'm having a really wet, very bad. Call me now. That way, too. It's worse than that. Wait a minute. Hey. Show. Please you. come anytime you want. John Cusack, Regina Hall coming up. We'll take a break. We'll be right back.
Okay, everybody, uh, we are back. And man, we 